Hello, I'm Michael Keneally from the Ilkley Happiness Centre and I'm doing a few YouTubes to tell you about the Rune Transformation Workshops we're doing every week and they're free and normally on a Tuesday at 7.30. Uh, the first rune of the Norse alphabet is Feu and uh, this rune is about wealth. And so we ask ourselves how does each one of us relate to the issue of wealth? What are we doing with and about wealth? How does wealth figure in our lives? And we also ask ourselves, do we want to bring change and transformation about wealth? And because the runes are key to magical change, the group actually found ways of using the runes to bring about and to create an intention to bring change around wealth in each of our lives. And next week the rune is Uras, the second rune, which is about strength. Well, the first thing the group did was draw the rune, the shape of the rune Feu, on little segments of um, sawn up yew branches. And I don't know if you can see it clearly, but uh, this is a typical segment of you with the rune Feu drawn. And each person created an image of Feu in their mind's eye and the ability and power to call Feu in, to keep calling Feu in, to bring about the magical intention around wealth that each person realised they had to bring in. OK, what are the issues of wealth? Well, they vary from person to person. But the wisdom of the runes came down to us in ancient poems. And I want to read three little poems, one Old English, one Norse, one Viking, which passes on this ancient wisdom. Now, this is the Old English rune poem, and it's fairly gentle. Wealth is a comfort to every man, although every man ought to deal it out freely if he wants before the Lord his lot of judgment. So that's a poem which says wealth is a good thing, but it needs to be shared about. Otherwise, God may judge us quite severely for hoarding or not sharing. Now, the old Icelandic poem is rather different in its tone. It says, gold is the strife of kinsmen and the fire of the flood tide and the path of the serpent. Gold is the leader of the war band. So here the old Icelandic skald or bard is clearly telling us there's a great danger of strife in families from wealth and perhaps many people know disputes that can happen around inheritances or if one brother or sister becomes more wealthy than the rest. And there's the interesting bit about the fire of the flood tide and the path of the serpent. You see the Norse believed in dragon magic. Now dragons can be bad, they can hoard wealth a black dragon can sit on his pile of gold like Fafnir, whom Sigurd slew. But that's not what it's for. Energy is to be shared, to be shared around. They saw a flood of energy, for example, going down rivers. Energy lines run under the earth. Energy lines run through each of our bodies. And so that poem says, yes, money is energy, but it must flow and move. It mustn't end up hoarded by misers. Um, the old Norwegian rune poem um, is, a, is similar but rather simpler. Gold causes strife among kinsmen. The wolf grows up in the woods. So this again warns us to avoid disputes over money in our family, our tribe, our community, to be fair, to be just. Because the scald or bard says, 
The wolf is ever in the woods and his strength can grow if we feed forces of conflict and malevolence. Now some people in the group saw themselves as having quite a, a bountiful attitude to wealth. They had enough and they shared the wealth they had. Other people felt extremely lacking in adequate wealth. And so, for example, they made an intention to create enough wealth, indeed, abundance. And really they tried to gather a sense of how they would do it and over what time. And here comes the power of rune work. Having charged the rune with that magical intention and purpose, they are now able to keep calling it into their mind's eye to reinforce the magical change that was started in the group. So next week, the rune we're looking at is the second rune of the Fudok, Uruz, the issue of strength. Thank you.